for Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Oh, well, very comfortable evening. Temperatures under clear skies, still 50s and 60s. Take a look outside under dry conditions as we take a look at Providence right now. Of course, after topping out upper 70s to lower 80s, feeling more like July. The warmer than average temperatures will continue at least for a couple of more days. This is just incredible stuff here. Topping out in the upper 70s, made it to 82 in Smithfield, low 80s in Taunton. Of course, that 81 in Providence and mid 70s along the South Shore. Probably not getting into the 80s tomorrow, but certainly well into the 70s. So another warm day, still 64 in Providence as well as New Bedford. Taunton now cooler at 56, Narragansett in the mid 50s. So warm for the next few days, meaning temperatures at least into the 70s. We'll start to cool off though towards the end of the week. Not much rain. We need rain. We're coming off a dry September. It's been a basically a dry October as well. I'll show you that in just a second. And again, the cooler temperatures back to reality starting on Thursday and continuing into Friday. The average high for this time of year is about 62, and we're way above that next couple of days. More seasonable on Thursday, noticeably cooler though Friday through the weekend, with Sunday clearly being the coolest of the days at about 55. So here's October now through today. Uh, 21st. I had three uh, measurable days of rainfall and only really one day of significant rain. That was back on October 7th. So we're about two inches below average for the month as far as rainfall. And of course, it was very dry during September and most of this week. I mean, the next seven days is basically dry. Full foliage, the darker colors indicate past peak conditions in the high elevations of northern New England. But we've got moderate color here in southern New England and peak conditions in the Berkshires. And those peak colors will continue to work south over the next a couple of weeks. So quiet across New England, high pressure in control, keeping things dry and warm as we take this into the future and move ahead now to tomorrow afternoon. More sunshine, another warm day. Not quite 80 degrees, but easily mid 70s for high temps. Looking good, clear skies. This is tomorrow evening at around 8 o'clock. Do it all over again for Wednesday. Sunshine, unseasonably warm at about 75. This cold front comes through on Thursday and it knocks down the temperature. It does bring in cooler air for Thursday afternoon with temperatures in the 60s. May see a quick little isolated shower early on Thursday morning, but very little in the way of rain, and most of your Thursday is actually dry. We take a look at the temperatures that drop overnight towards tomorrow morning in the mid 50s. Sunshine gets to work. There's your rapid warm up. Many communities in the low to middle 70s. A late day sea breeze will keep the coastline just a little cooler, but uh, very warm for this time of year. Morning commute looks fine. Maybe the only problem is sun glare driving eastbound, but dry roads, good visibility, plenty of sunshine tomorrow afternoon uh, to three o'clock in the afternoon afternoon topping out in the mid 70s. All right, seven day forecast showing the dry weather most of the week. Cooler on Thursday and Friday. Early call for the weekend. Not bad. A mix of clouds and sunshine Saturday. Noticeably cooler on Sunday with a high temperature only in the mid 50s. But little hints of summer continue next couple of afternoons before reality sets in towards the end of the week. Long range forecast for next week towards Halloween, suggesting this warm weather reloads Ooh, one, once again. Love that. Great news. <laughs> All right, thanks, Tony. Coming up next in sports.